Hi guys, it's me, Kat. This is Handy Are You. Hope you're all doing really well. I have a, quite a bit of information on Hurricane Milton. Uh, I think it hit on the 10th of October. Today is the 17th. I'm, I'm sorry it took me so long to get my act together. Um, anyway, so what happened in Florida and uh, there was a, a ch somebody on YouTube, they were uh, a meteorologist, I think they were, were two, a man and a woman, and the title of this show was Once in a Generation. It was on live. Um, happened. To, this part was on the 7th, so the storm hadn't hit yet, but they were watching it, and they called it Storm Team Meteorologist Noah Bergeron. And that's funny because it sounds like the Coast Guard's Todd Bergun, um, Bergeron and Bergun, uh, and Junior or Diana, now I don't know which one at this point, but called in as Todd Bergun um, to, I think it was Channel 7 or Channel 5, either one, doesn't matter, in Boston. And the, the search had been on that year for JFK Jr.'s plane that had, had crashed and um, you know they were worried that they were all gone and uh, so this Coast Guard spokesman had called in to the radio TV station and was you know talking about the situation and it was a kind of a funny voice and you could probably find still find it on 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 video so anyway, um, so Bergeron and Bergan, right? Noah Bergeron. And his partner was Laurel Blanchard. Blanchard. Um, this was a live stream, like I said. But Noah Bergeron equals Jewish 298 and its creation and escapism because he's fake. And it equals evacuations. <laughs> um, oh, I'm sorry. Escapism to me means evacuations, I'm sorry. Uh, Noah Bergeron and Simple Gematria is 104 out of time because it's before the hurricane hit. And I know people lost things. I, I understand. I'm not laughing at all those, those situations. But it wasn't like what people thought it was. It, you know, it didn't happen as, as badly as pe people thought. And I do think it had to happen both of the hurricanes because they still had to flood underground and get rid of all the beings or whatever it is down under um, that were still there. And if that isn't the case, there was still a reference to, yes, that's what we did. You know, I, I don't know which one it was. Were they saying, yes, that's how we did it at that moment? Or yes, we had to do more, you know, one way or the other. It was about underground. It came up all the time, underground. Um, Noah Bergeron equals, that, like I said, out of time. Vortex, drowning. And I don't think many people drowned or were washed away or anything like that. I think a lot of those stories definitely were made up um, because we have control over the media so we can make it sound like anything we want or they want. It equals insurance, um, I can't sleep, Grateful Dead, and Quartz. Um, and then in Jewish, Saint, that guy's name equals Seabrook, and there's, the, you know, C in there, S-E-A, and then Brook, like 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 a river flooding. Um, it's also funny that it, it's in, Seabrook is the name of New Hampshire's nuclear power plant down on the coast. So that's kind of funny. Um and it equals be catching liar, you know, everybody talks kind of funny online, like be this and be that. Noah Bergeron is let's do it, an April fool, uh, all time high, like the water was supposed to be, you know, rushing in, and that's not what happened, the, the uh, bay receded all the water went out instead and they had all these reasons why it happened you know instead of flooding in um let's see and then the friend laurel blanchard is false things on a flagpole plural 
So those things, false. And who am I? We are Q and go time. So Laurel Blanchard and Jewish, that was in simple before, is during 66, and that's D-U-M-B-S, Deep Underground Military Bases. That's what that stands for. And had to do it equals, okay, so Laurel Blanchard equals dumbs, had to do it. And um, anyway, I won't guide I'm telling you too much about this live stream, but it was the title once in a generation equals false prophet telling me lies she's died like people didn't die as much you know as many at least as they're saying and it equals operations once in a generation equals numbers matter message for you empty shelves communications um Let's see, fleet of black ships, which I thought was interesting, and then Down syndrome, because I think, you know, people's boats were all going down under, you know, being lost. So that's from the, uh, the Noah Bergeron live stream. And uh, then we have, you know, the, there's so many things that are fake that we watch and we think they're real. Like, I used to think Steve Luckner's Agenda Free TV was real. I watched that for years. I watched that since he, he Diana, left RSBN because he was a reporter for RSBN and he was really good. And he would do the rallies. You know, he'd go to the Trump rallies and report for RSBN, just like all these other folks do still. And um, I remember everybody being <laughs> upset that he left and went out on his own to start his own channel. And... Um, you know, viewers of RSBN weren't happy. Sorry, I'm chewing ice. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Um, so there's a guy named Brian Shields. Um, I don't know if I said that clearly enough because my voice is getting all crackly all the time. Brian, not Ryan, Brian Shields. And he's on something called Mr. Weatherman Channel. <clears throat> and uh, he he talks super fast too like I don't know how you can keep track of what he's saying it's so hard to get the point you know he's just super super fast so uh, he, he comes on and he's t talking about um, the Caribbean all the time and he watches for storms developing and he talks about you know he also talks about Bermuda, you know, up that way. And um, down in Central America, he talks about down there. So he talks about that whole little area and what's coming off of Africa and what storms are developing, you know, by the islands and everything. And he's, you know, telling him to watch out for mudslides. I mean, he's, that's his little niche. But he said something funny. Um... And it was very clear, like he wasn't talking fast when he said it. So I felt like, okay, we got to work on this. And he said, I don't like storms. <clears throat> and um, he said that very clearly. He wasn't, like I said, he wasn't talking fast. And it equals 203 again, like I keep getting, 203. And it's Gematrix calculator. So secret code cal calculator and October surprise. And that's what's been happening, those bad hurricanes, right? Um, so Brian, <laughs> Brian equals simple 44. And remember, it's simple gematry. I mean, simple gematry is A equals one through Z equals 26. I use gematrix.org as a search engine. Anyway, Brian equals harp. Okay, can you believe it? Brian equals harp, of course, because he's he's a fake person, you know, H A A R P, and that's what is controlling the weather. Now we control the weather, as far as I can tell, at least usually. Um, and shields, which is funny because like you're shielding the information or shielding reality. I don't know, and. Um, in Jewish, it's 226, and it equals false thing on a flagpole, false, you know, thing, Q, like with a Q with it. 
That's what his last name equals. And his last name equals hidden agenda. Then you put both names, his full name, Brian, Brian Shields, Jewish 358 equals umbrella, which is funny because he's always talking about storms and handcuffs. Now, as I go along here, you're going to see that things that are, are about this channel, this person, personality, um, kind of leads you to believe that he's been replaced. Like maybe he was on there be for quite a while and then we changed out who, who it is to a good person. Uh, so Brian Shields, because it also, his name equals handcuffs and um, traitors, the living dead, like about dead, and gematria codes. But it's funny, it also equals chemistry, atmosphere, and whirlwind, like how things have been controlled. He mentioned San Andreas during this one episode anyway, um, which is in a place in Central America, but he's also a volcanologist, as I'll probably get to in a minute. And, you know, I don't know if you call it a degree, but anyway, he's got a vol so he understands at least about volcanoes and uh, the, you know, San Andreas Fault caused by underground eruptions, things like that. Um, probably a reference to the future, uh, you know, where we're going to see all kinds of fake volcano action on, on, on TV and on our phones that I've talked about forever, you know, uh, and, and that, like I mentioned, I looked at that old video. I talked about it in the last video. Uh, Three-year-old one, and I was talking about all these FFs that the White Hats would do. So at least that part's consistent, and I think probably right. We'll find out. Uh, but so he mentioned San Andreas, and like I said, I think he's been replaced. And here's another reason I think it, 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 it equals... Um, Masonic America, Freemason, um, and do not be afraid because I think everything has changed. These people that have been manipulating things and um, evil, putting evil stuff out there, like Masonic kind of stuff. And that's only the high level Masons. Like I know people at lower levels, they don't know what's going on. So I'm not saying all the Masons are bad, okay? Um, let's see, uh, San Andreas, yeah, it equals Freemason in both Jewish and simple. So that's like a big deal when something, uh, to me anyway, when something is the same in both, uh, Jewish and simple gematria. So I think he was, and it's replaced and it's naughty funerals, characters and GameStop. So, kind of like, yeah, he's out of here. He was bad, and he's gone. And he said something about storms and that we'll get a name. Um, we'll get a name was a funny, just sounded funny to me. But it equals reincarnation of Mary Magdalene. So who's playing this Brian Shields, right? Um, and it equals invention, like created. Um, let's see. And he mentioned um, there's going to be storms called Nadine. That would be the next one. And then Oscar is the is the O, oh, you know, coming up. If if I'm likely there will be more storms, because I can't imagine the White Hats would let one go that not use one that's called Oscar, like winning an Oscar, like a performance. Um, he says monitor mode, not action mode. And monitor mode equals simple 141 and that equals Gematronator, which is another search engine that people use, but I like Gematrix.org better because it's got way more matches that you can look at. And it equals I am the storm and freak of nature and prime creator, like creating the, the storm. And that monitor mode equals seven day fast. And I think that we'll be fasting and praying when it you know, it looks like there's atomic weapons going on or chemical attacks and stuff. Um, and uh, 
when everybody like thinks the same way, great things can happen, I think, you know, like when everybody is on the positive uh, wavelengths and vibes and stuff, I think wonderful things are going to happen when that, when that comes about. Like, I don't think it's just the weird manipulation. I think it's, it's going to cause greatness to happen. And don't ask me how, but I think that's, that's what's going to happen. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't need it. Well, and not action mode is Donald J. Trump and it's simple gematria. So like, it's so, it's, that's so obvious. Everything is, uh, yeah, I think, I think I did that. Yeah. Yeah, I did that. So anyway, so Hurricane Milton, you know, you put the two words together, not just Melton, but Hurricane Melton in Jewish, it's 675 and it's immaculate deception. Numbers don't lie and, and simple, it's Gematria calculator. Learn the secret code, near death experience. Blackout Tuesday. Um, there's so many good matches to this. As far as the eye can see, um, Let's see, mm. stressors, floor to keys. And it says, I see lots of dead snakes. That's the Jewish 675. God's serious and I see lots of dead snakes. And criminal intentions and thick, uh, excuse me, sick thoughts. And I think that's because we already had dumbs as a match during all this with the Milton stuff. And you know, deep underground military bases. And I think that, you know, the dead snake reference here is, and criminal attention, intentions is going on the same line, like getting rid of evil with the, with the water. Uh, and then just plain Milton equals mislead um, the Donald mega sacrifice, but it equals indicting a cabal pain coming. So, getting rid of those evil creatures. Uh, let's see. Milton equals um, tracking broadcast, prepared, red alert, phony. So it's, and it's magic. That, that's that. I have so much on Milton, but you get the gist, right? Uh, you really, you know, that's, there was a reason for it, one way or another. And then I decided to just do Helene Milton, because that was the two storms. That was first, you know, with Helene and then Milton. I don't know how far apart they were. But I woke it up early, I woke up early in the morning and I was like, that's what I'm gonna do. And so I wasn't even out of bed and I started working on that. And uh, it equals in Jewish 330, 332 and it equals blood sacrifice and code define God like now you start praying and lifeguard hidden messages but a funny an odd one that matched that I've gotten before is J.R.R. R. Tolkien and I got a feeling especially with there's R's in the middle of his name and I, I can't remember if I've coded it yet but I wouldn't be surprised if it's one of our guys that was you know, writing as J.R.R. R. Tolkien for The Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, and all that. But when you put Helene Milton together, the two storms, you get simple Gematria 132, and it's Princess Diana. Hi, Diana. So that's not a coincidence. And the funny thing is that Helene Milton equals no coincidences. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There's so many things. I can't I can't tell you all this stuff. But then Governor DeSantis was on talking about it. I think it was the day before or maybe two days before this Hurricane Milton. And, uh, you know, he, he's got to have been replaced. Um, let's see. He kept saying indelible during this little speech he talked about. Um, indelible equals... Um, magnetic which i think was cool because i'm wondering if there was something to do with magnets to create storms but i, I don't know 
and equaled ambulance, so that was an odd one, and warfare, like um, weather warfare, because that's what the cabal used to do. Now we're using it to flood things underground. Um, yeah, and indelible um, is, let's see, in simple, it's 115, and it equals Mary Magdalena, God's wrath on the ready, and what's next. And then in Jewish, it's 235, and that's Esso, which was um, the old name for Exxon Company, um, Esso, and it equals come and get me, I'm hungry, and uh, clone of God. And I, I've got it, you know, I've talked about this before, I think it was with Helene, that, you know, people saw bodies in the river, um, you know, personally saw them, and I've got a feeling that they were just fake. Yeah, I mean, if a fake war can happen, why not see fake bodies in a river, right? Uh, so DeSantis mentioned this person that was either on stage just before him or was near him, and he called, his name was Kevin Guthrie, and that equals Jewish 1173, and it equals fake death, like, like a fake person and fake deaths upcoming, and it equals perceptions of reality. So this guy's name equals all this, and it equals military intel update. Like, you know, that update was more like military stuff, not, you know, the stuff that we were hearing. I'm, I'm sure behind the scenes, all kinds of stuff was going on that was more important than what he was actually saying. Kevin Guthrie equals Starts now, end of the world, camera operator, um, ready, steady, go. Okay, so all that. And he said it's complicated. And first thing I thought of was that President Trump said that, that one phrase when he came back to YouTube. So we, that's all he said, was it's complicated. Um, that equals Santa surfing. And I've thought for a while that Diana's probably um, the character Santa surfing online. Uh, let's see. Now, just Guthrie, from that Kevin Guthrie person, her persona, it equals D-Day, creators, rock the boat, um, the breach in the dam, all that. And Guthrie equals Trump, because it's 88 and simple. Um, yeah, the boss messages still planned. Um, send someone empathy, massive, artificial, and maritime. So as, as you know, what's going on is people are helping each other a lot. They're, they're donating to help different areas. They're um, helping people that are neighbors you know, flooded out. I was watching my tiny home show, Incredible Tiny Homes, that I love. And I've watched for like nine years. And uh, they just donated two of their tiny homes to pe local people that got flooded out by the river. And uh, and the ones that were flooded out were almost pre pretty much homeless at the time. This one man had a tent. Um, and he took, he, at the end of this, video where on incredible tiny homes where um you know they were talking to him and he was showing them how he lived and he had a, a, a kind of like a plastic barrel like one of those big blue barrels i think you might use for uh i remember what you call it when you get water off the roof and you use it for your garden i don't know why i can't think of the term but um anyway uh one of those size barrels and he had cut a hole in it and he heated water, I don't know, inside, I guess. Anyway, he took a bath in that. That's how he used to take a bath. So people really need help, you know, not just because of the flood, but in general. It'll be so awesome when things change, right? It'll be beautiful. Um, so it's funny. I, I, I get these ideas, and I think, you know, source or whatever, however you want to look at it, is talking to me. And I, I try them in Gematrix. And I thought of Milton exaggerations. 
and you know, like I, this was before it happened. Um, and it equals uh, incoming evacuate uh, wounded Armageddon war. It will all come back. And flawless decode. I love that one. That was cool. Like, like it was a good thing to try. And in simple Milton exaggerations is simple 227. And it's family is everything. Because it's bringing people closer to each other and, and their families to each other. It equals, it had to be done this way. The message has been received, which is cool. It equals Almighty <clears throat> Almighty God calculator. And it equals October 10th and then MMXX, like, like Roman numerals. And you can look at it as October 10th, 2020, like, like 2020 vision to see what's going on. And it equals October 10th Armageddon, right? And, and it hit on October 10th. And it's so weird because that was Mr. Handy and I's anniversary, but it doesn't matter. I'm doing fine. But anyway, October 10th, Armageddon. Knock your socks off. Uh, anyway, directed by higher power. We're not afraid of the dark. Isn't that interesting? All those are from Milton Exaggerations. Um, yeah. And <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, so there, I, this is more on Milton, but I was reading an article online and they, when things are highlighted in blue are in quote, quotations, um, there are things that the white hats want you to decode. I mean, and, and you can't decode at all because you'd go crazy, but you, you, Choose what you feel like you're supposed to do, or what you're told to do. So this was in blue. Uh, and the phrase was highlighted in blue, and it said weakened to category three, and that's simple 261, and that's John Fitzgerald Kennedy Jr. Why am I not surprised? You know, I mean, I didn't know that's what it was going to come to, obviously. Uh, and it's funny, it also equals, uh, so besides John Fitzgerald Kennedy Jr., it equals November 22nd. And I didn't notice before that his name decodes to the date that he exited the movie or the play or however you want to look at what's going on, the Matrix, right? So anyway. Another thing that was, un this one was underlined and it ended in blue in, in this article. And it's recovering from Hurricane um, Helene. Yeah, recovering from Hurricane Helene. And, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was underlined in blue. But the one that I did work on, I didn't decode that part. But there was a, a person that they interviewed supposedly and her name was Julie B-O-S-T. And uh, she was saying that she, they had, she was 32. Remember, 32 is Eve. Um, but Julie Boast equals simple 113. It equals white hats and operation and awards. So even the people, they, they, they fake interview people all the time. They just want certain things to get out there. So anyway, I guess that's enough on that. I don't know. I hope I didn't drive you guys crazy with Hurricane Milton. But this, this is a random thought I had the, the other day. Um, you know, crypto, you know, the, the, all kinds of crypto you can invest in, obviously. And it made me think of the O, like Omega, and then crypt. You know, like, like there's no one in JFK's tomb, or there's no one in other graves, too. They're, they're alive, and it was fake deaths to go into witness protection of some kind. So anyway, I thought that was funny. Crypto, I wonder if that's why it got its name. You know, on purpose, matrix-wise. So anyway, I'm done. And if you've lasted this long,
kudos to you. So anyway, personal stuff, if anybody's interested, my floor is done. Um, I got some of my furniture back that you can probably see. And uh, my daughter and I moved it back in, most of it. So that was cool. And uh, anyway, it's feeling more like home and it's not echoey. So that's cool. And uh, we had a frost last night first frost so it took all the annuals out in the garden and um, the vegetables and everything so that's kind of a bummer but I'm kind of ready to stop gardening honestly and just get all cozy inside and have snowstorms and stuff and you know whatever it, that's fine um, so anyway I just hope you guys are doing okay and uh, getting through all this weirdness that's going on because it is a bunch of weirdness and I know we don't get what's going on, but like I said, it's going to be all right. Everything's going to be okay. So in the end, it's going to be beautiful. So anyway, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Love you.